Hi and welcome. So we are continuing the series with orchestral uh, instruments and tools and uh, with the cheap uh, sample libraries and uh, today uh, I'm here to uh, show you the same method that I showed you with the, the, with the string sections, with the violins and whatnot. The same thing with the brass, so with the horn section also. The principle is the same thing like uh, let you let me just uh, show you directly right so we have here is the same project uh, and here we I have uh, from the um, native instruments uh, complete uh, what uh, bundle complete uh, I don't know what kind of bundle is but uh, anyway it is included in the um, the symphony uh, series and in the symphony series we have the 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 brass uh, section so the same thing i stack them inside of uh, contact player and let me just show you so here it is right i stacked it in the same player the brass ensemble again MIDI channel the same MIDI channel so for every of them I use the same MIDI channel because when I you know playing uh, a note the MIDI CC signal is activating the same note and it's playing uh, this is trumpet that's why this one but you can see here right but Every of them is different, as I told you. Stacking the instruments, if you are stacking the same instruments, then you will have only a volume uh, rise, and that's all. So, like 1 plus 1 is 2, but 1A plus 1B, it's not 2... Uh, uh, it's not 2, it's 2AB, two or it's 2C, if you want. So this is really the difference. This is where uh, you have to understand that layering or packing or stacking instruments with different harmonics, um, with different, uh, uh, a little bit nuances and sounding, it will not result only in a volume rise. That's for sure that there is a volume rise because it's two or three instruments playing in the same instance. So obviously there's a volume rise, but that that's easy because you can uh, turn down the volume then. But it's more than that. It's all these harmonics that is are combining, and that is what is creating the big, enormous, epic sound, which uh, obviously for a normal orchestral um, uh, team or orchestral. Uh, 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 musicians it's just not playable or it, it, you have to be crazy to try to uh, remake uh, with a classical orchestral uh, uh, band but because now let me just show you if it's only one that is playing obviously this you see this is one nuance, this is one thing that is stacked with the other ones are creating the, the complex sound that you are hearing here, right? So in this one is included this but it is included this also you see, it's different then it is uh, included this one also you see? You, you do you listen do you hear the differences so you see how complex is the sound that you are hearing when all of them are playing together but the composition of the sound is in fact this this is uh, the composition of the sound you see all of these are creating then that 
sees it's oh okay see how this one the high but together together they are uh, creating this sound so as I told you it's the same thing the same the same MIDI channel the same MIDI CC that will uh, activate the notes on each of the different instruments uh, load it into the contact player and then uh, you see here is the same thing with the articulation as I told you be careful with the articulation this is the problem with this uh, symphony series from uh, native instruments uh, that uh, by default they are assigned to MIDI uh, CCs that maybe that are playable let me just tell you like this that are playable so when you are recording something in uh, staccato and then playing back you will hear that uh, by error because you played a theme uh, in the lower keys on 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 that section of the keys where um, the I don't know the the sustain was activated by a MIDI CC uh, key, uh, key key uh, signal and then uh, obviously you will hear uh, your recorded session that was uh, that you, you were expecting to hear it on uh, with staccato you will hear it and on sustain and this is why you have to rebuild recreate uh, uh, the um, the articulation uh, key slots and you see here I so I just put it uh, all of the other ones because we cannot eliminate them that's that's the problem is on default uh, it's there you cannot just uh, eliminate them uh, erase them so it remains there but I have put them all of them on the C minus two there I know that I will never go and uh, and the staccato I put it on the G8 uh, so uh, really on on the on 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 that high part so again I know that I will never touch it so I will not touch it there really uh, on the low part and the high part also so uh, this is the way uh, I'm trying to uh, to um, to make it work right and then of course if you go to the mixer no effects no EQ no reverb no compressor no filter no nothing right so that's again another thing dynamics well here it's I put it uh, uh, a maximum but that depends on what uh, you want to achieve you can put it on maximum on one one o'clock or whatever you wish and I did the same thing with uh, every uh, instrument and so this is the result really so you have really big huge sound right because this one you will not have with only one so if you taking the stock for example you see the staccato brass ensemble the stock sound is this uh, not even this not even this because we have the reverb from uh, from auxiliary but in a big way this is it again you can tell me okay there's a volume I mean I can raise the volume right Mira. right and then again right 
it's it's really a big difference of course uh this is what uh, we want we want to go epic to go big and this is really the way we can achieve it so it's it's not really complicated it's quite simple we just have to know it and have to use it so uh, if an instrument or a section that you want to achieve with a with a cheap with a relatively uh, not expensive uh, sample library this is a method that uh, uh, that that you can achieve i mean uh, many times I, I have used this method like this and it's really workable and it's sounding quite good in a composition. this was informative uh, and uh, I'm quite uh, interested to know if you are uh, doing the same way if you are using this method of stacking uh, uh, up sounds but with different harmonics and nuances and uh, uh, articulations because I really think that this is a, uh, a way that uh, you can achieve you can uh, uh, create uh, some some kind of sounds uh, that 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 are really original uh, because uh, having multiple ar articulations and harmonics can really um, achieve some uh, some cool results. So do not hesitate. Uh, write me in the comment section below. Are you using this method or not? If you are not using it, try it out because uh, it can be really uh, interesting and it can really help your uh, composition uh, to become, if you want to achieve that big epic thing, then or big full epic thing, then this definitely uh, will give you results. So thank you for watching and definitely. See you next time. Bye. Oh my god. This is the MacBook, the Apple MacBook with the M1 chip.